Hello everybody, Ginger Shadow here, and uh, welcome back to our Minecraft mod review with me, and today, today, ooh, it is a very good day. Why? Because the My Hero Academia mod got a big old update with a lot of very cool things involved, including the thing it's done to my face. <laughs> I fucking love this. Uh, right, so yeah, My Hero Academia mod very good i've reviewed it before it was a 1.15 at the time it was a great wee mod lots of cool stuff in it it got a massive update it's now on 1.16.5 and oh my it's has <laughs> got so many good things this being one of them this is literally the first thing i saw on my discord first thing it was mentioned one for all full cowling effect looks really really cool now yeah it does <laughs> Oh my god, right, so yeah, this mod, uh, if you haven't seen it before, basically it's a My Hero Academia mod, based off of, yeah, My Hero Academia, adds in a ton of cool stuff into the world, gives you a bunch of quirks, upon entering the world you'll get a quirk, and, uh, yeah, it has a leveling system, aka, you click a button, and you can open up your stats card, which gives you your quirk, your rank, there's reputation system, so if you do bad things, aka if you kill good guys, then, uh, you'll get negative reputation, you'll go into the negative area and yeah if you do good things they can be a villains you get good points which in turn means villains will attack you uh yeah you get uh, experience by beating up mobs mainly you're meant to beat up the micro academia mobs but i think there's a command so you can beat up regular mobs as well and uh, yeah as you level up you get skill points which you can then put into points into uh stamina power and health because yeah your quirk it has a stamina bar that little orange bar there that's a stamina bar as i use techniques it'll use stamina not while I'm in creative mode, thankfully. I'm glad they added that in the latest update, because it makes my life so much easier. But, um, yeah, it's obviously something you want to update. Power increases the power, crit health increases your health. And, yeah, you get a little thing telling you as you update to certain levels, uh, how you, uh, what skills and stuff will get unlocked, which is very cool. Um, and you've got a thing for toggle battle mode. Okay, if you go into battle mode and you click a button, it'll then use that quirk tied to that button. Okay, right now they're set to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6... Uh, but, but uh, how do you toggle though? That is something I didn't notice. Uh, but, 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 but uh, ability cycle, achievements, uh, open menu, special, uh, quirk special. I see it'd be that, but maybe not. And then yeah, click R to use your quirk, aka whatever one your cycle currently on top of. And then one, two, three, four, five, six would be your ability buttons, which you could obviously switch around if you need to. Alright, well, anyway, yeah, it's got a bunch of quirks, though. It's got a bunch of outfits, a couple of blocks of weapons and stuff. And it had mobs that spawned, eh? things like police villains and bits and pieces. And, uh, right, let's just dig into this. Let's just uh, look at things bit, bit, bit. We'll go and we'll look at more of the quirk stuff in a little bit. Before that, though, let's look at some of the stuff in the chest here. What have we got? We've got a knife! Because, why wouldn't you? Uh, but yeah, it looks good. It's a knife. I don't think many people are going to use it, because if it quirks, and it's better weapons out there. There's cash, uh, not craftable. Oh, the knife bit of it is craftable, iron and a stick. Uh, I've got cash, which obviously builds and stuff, get cash off them. And then pocket the cash instead of returning it to police. I've got a hilt and blade, which we uh, use to make a katana, which, uh, yep, got katana here. Lovely dual blade, big old blade. Bit of a stronger blade. But yeah, I guess if you like that kind of thing, or if your quirk isn't like a combat based quirk, you might want to switch to weapons. And then we've got sharpshooter. Use a channel of electric quirks into a blast. It's in the equipment bit. So here, yeah, iron and a redstone. Uh, this is for Denki's electrical, uh, electrification, electric quirk, whatever you want to call it. Uh, but yeah. Uh, I've got a gun and I've got an assault rifle along with ammo for them. Guns are made with loads of iron. Assault rifles are made for a bunch of iron, gunpowder, and a tripwire. And ammo is made from gunpowder, gold nuggets, and iron nuggets. And uh, yeah. Guns shoot. Assault rifle shoots quicker, handgun shoots like a handgun. It looks pretty cool, but again, we're here, we're here for the quirks mostly, aren't we? But yeah, again, although if you don't have a combat based quirk, because there are some quirks, like beforehand there were 15 slash 16 quirks, there's more now. More quirks have been added in the latest update. And um, yeah, not all of them are strictly combat based, as in you can just be in the, someone's face. Quirks have cooldowns and stuff, you might need weapons to defend yourself in the early game. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, but anyway, another fun item, I like this the UA Electronic Softball. A UA high. Uh, softball, use testings, distance, uh, testing, oh, throwing distance, struggling with words today, uh, yeah, it's a softball, it's a little ball thing, I don't think it actually does the whole testing thing, but you can throw it, and you can just go pick it back up, but you, you can technically throw it, that's 
a thing. <laughs> I think it registers anything. I think it's just in there for fun. But yeah, I love the fact it's in there because it means you can take this play ball with people if you really wanted to for some reason. Uh, I've also got fabric. Oh yeah, and the ball bloop, does not have a cracking recipe currently. Uh, we've got fabric down here made from wool. Gives you three fabric. Wool is then used. Our fabric is then used for back crafting outfits and bits, which we'll get to in a bit. And I love these next two items. We've got the UA classroom desk made from wood, iron, and iron. There we get the desk here. So yeah, if you want to do a bit of role play and set up a classroom for UA, so you can have a UA classroom table. Doesn't have chairs though. <laughs> you just need to stand apparently. And then we've got this thing, which I love. The costume suitcase. It looks really good. Like, texture-wise stuff. It looks really good in your hand. Plus, yeah, you can uh, open it up and you can put in your hero suit. So, plop all this off really quick. You can plop all that in there. Cool. And then you can obviously shift and bring your stuff out if you need to get changed into your hero outfit. So, basically, yeah, you can carry your outfit with you if you want to go in civilian clothes and then switch over to your hero outfit later. Which I think is very neat. Uh, but yeah, so that's it for the extra item bits uh, here. Oh yeah, and the, for the suitcase, it's iron, redstone, and a chest. Or, apparently, iron, iron nuggets, and a redstone. I don't know what the difference is, but there's two crafting recipes. Outfits! There's a bunch! That's not all of them. There's way more. I just didn't want to put them all down, because I wasn't sure if it would create lag or not. <laughs> It's like, nah, I'll just not risk it. I'll just put down some outfits and we'll just we'll just look at the rest of them. They're in these chests here, by the way. Uh, just to give you an idea of how many outfit bits there are. I mean, yeah, we've got various different ones. The outfits all look very cool. Uh, yeah, we've got ones like the same Midoriya as well with extra little bits on them. Like Deku's little front face bit. I don't know what it is. Uh, yeah, we've got the other Academy uniform. We've got Shoto's outfit. Cool. One for all. Uh, oh, no, all for one, sorry. Thirteen! I saw 13's outfit written down. I'm like, who the hell's 13? It literally took me ages to remember who 13 was. <laughs> That's not outfit. That's there. And then, yeah, like, our rockets. Uh, yeah, if you just go through the outfits, I'm, I'm not going to go through them all. Uh, I could have tried to organise them all, but there's just so many. And it just took way more chess. But, yeah, basically, we got a bunch of different student outfits. A bunch of this was in before. I've uh, got UA uh, skill outfits. We've got basic uh, civil career outfits. Uh, policeman outfits. Uh, Deku, Uraka, Endeavour, and stuff, along with masks. Moving on to here. Even more of the same. More that fits with over there. Got, yeah, things like Musculars outfit. Stole that on, which, yeah, you get his eye thing. Cool. Uh, ba -ba things like that. We've got, uh, Nia How the hell do you pronounce this guy's name? Nieto. The copy guy. Whatever, 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 whatever you pronounce his name. Don't ask me. I'm bad at pronunciation. Bum -ba -dum. But yeah, oh, there's just so many outfits here. We've got Shogto's first outfit when he was going through that phase where he was keeping half his body covered in ice and had a red eye for that, like, two episodes. <laughs> then he very quickly switched over to a proper outfit, which we all know and arguably is just better because he looked kind of... I mean, it didn't look terrible before, but it looked kind of weird, if I'm being honest. Uh, da -da -da. uh Yeah, there's so many cool outfits in here. And uh, most of them are craftable. Or all of them are craftable. All of them craftable. Don't ask me, I haven't quickly, I haven't like through each one of them and clicked R on them. There we go. The, uh, Violent Vandal's head isn't craftable. I don't know who this is, but alright. Maybe you guys can tell me in the comments. Uh, yeah, not everything's craftable. Most stuff is though. Uh, but yeah, oh god, there's so much. And then up here we've also got... Oh, no, these are still just outfits. Ah, uh, yeah, get more outfits. Remember that guy from that episode where he, he wears the thing? And he said, remember this guy? Yeah, his outfit's in. I like it. I love the fact it's added in. Uh, like, he might not be an important character, but you see him a bunch, and I, I love having more options and things like this. Uh, on top of that, not just hero outfits, or maybe they are all technically hero outfits, but, um... Who the heck was this? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, some of this stuff looks more, like, along the lines of, like, ca more casual clothes. Like, yeah, blue jeans and red jacket. These might be outfits that people wore in the show, but I don't like the fact, yeah, you've got, like, civilian clothes in this now. Uh, so you can, yeah, you can just make a red jacket and blue jeans. You can have a civilian outfit before you switch into your, obviously, your, um, your hero clothes. Which, I, I dig that. I, I love the fact that, yeah, there's just general, just ordinary clothes you could wear. <laughs> I know that, like, yeah, you can just get a casual outfit. Again, like, you might not use this in a general survival, but if you like role-playing and stuff, this is some really cool things. Which, I, I can never get enough outfits when it comes to anime tape mods. I love it when they put clothes and stuff in, because I love the idea of really dress up as, well, folk. <laughs> Ah, oh, good, good stuff. Uh, where, what, what did I do with Deku's shoes? 
Oh dear, I've lost them. Alright, we'll take All Might's boots instead then. I think I was dressed up this for a while. Uh, but yes, that's some of the clothes. There's bloody hundreds of them. Maybe. 9, 18, 27, 36, 45, 54. Yeah, literally hundreds of them. There's like 150 odd clothes in there nearly or something. I don't know. Tons. Tons of stuff. Tons of options. And that's not even technically all of them. We also got this stuff here. This is what I was getting confused about a minute ago when I was like, this is it. No, it's not. Uh, yeah, you get skin outfits. So if you want to literally dress like the character, you can get their outfit that show. And if the outfit shows skin, it will transform your skin into like their skin. So for example, like Mina's outfit, I uh, end up with her pink arms because she has pink skin and pink boobs. Uh, but ba but pop that in there. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much the case for just about all of them that have got skin showing. Hence why I had the All Might outfit. Who the hell is this? Captain Celebrity's head. I thought it was present Mike originally, but no, it's someone else. Okay. That who knows who that is? <laughs> uh, yeah, okay, yeah, there's tons of cook stuff here and Shoto's head and bits of But yeah, uh how does Shoto's head look when I wear it? Hold the boss. Cause yeah, uh, as a thing, it'll cover your face, but it won't cover over your overlay layer stuff, so like where my hair is. It doesn't cover that over. So if I put that on. Yeah, it looks odd. It looks very odd. I'm keeping it. Right, anyway, moving on from there, though. Outfits. Bloody fantastic. I love them. More of them always, please. <laughs> oh, I can't get off. All right. Tokens. Abilities. Da, 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 da. Uh, there are... How many is that? 9, 11, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. There's 23 quirks, apparently, if my math is correct. Along with the quirkless, which is the worst thing to get. And the randomizer quirk. Uh, just, yeah, you got a random quirk. Uh, so we've got the top ones here that are run before. So we've got, yeah, acid, air cannon, cement, sludge, electrification, erasure, explosion, hell flame, invisibility, strong arm, which, um, I believe that's Raka. Is it Raka? Rapper? How you pronounce it? I, I forget. Basically, the guy that was good at punching and fought against, uh, coming out. No. God, man. <laughs> I can't uh, Red Riot, I remember that name at the very least. I'm forgetting everyone's names, oh god. I watched My Hero Academia not even that long ago. <laughs> I watched The Classroom Battles not even that long ago. Uh, I'm just forgetting everything, it's the heat's getting to me. But yeah, uh, I, I believe that's his thing. I was like, who is that? I couldn't remember the last time I reviewed this. Apparently that's his. Cool. Uh, yeah, you get Super Generation. Again, if you had a non-combat quirk like that, you can regenerate, but then you can also pack guns and weapons and stuff right into this. Uh, I've got the Water Gun Quirk, Whirlwind, Zero Gravity, and uh, one for all, which is the one I've currently got on. Also, also, just remembered there, didn't show this. Uh, technically, Stain Sword is in this as well, but I don't think there's any way to get it. Because I don't believe Stain's in this is like a villain to fight, so I, and it's not craftable, so I don't know if there's any way to actually obtain this. I legitimately, I'll just spawn it in. But yeah, Stain's Bloody Sword is here. You can get the fresh blood on it if you fancy having a replay with that, for whatever reason. Uh, but yeah, so we've got all those quirks from before. We've played around with them before. Some of them have new moves and bits added on, so that's cool. Flying gets slightly altered, so if you're flying using an ability, you'll get floated forward a bit as if you're actually trying to fly. But okay, just to go through some of the abilities and stuff really quick. Uh, just with some of the quirks we've currently already got. Like, I don't want to go through all of them because we will be here for little over and ever because I just will be. Uh, let's take just some of the fun ones. Uh, I'll we'll say, yes, we're with... Electrification? Take electrification, grab that as well. Yeah, okay. So anyway, one for all. We've got that quirk currently on. So to unlock all the abilities, you have to go up to level 50. So for that, beat up villains. But also, also, what we can do is do slash uh, my hero academia XP. Or actually, you can just set level, but you can just set XP. And yeah, you can tell there's tons of XP. I need to level up. So I'm level 54, meaning I've now got unlocked all my moves. Cool. I can also technically put things into stats. Uh, also slash my Hero Academia. Uh, yeah, it's a bunch of commands here. So blacklist, uh, experience, level, list, max, player quark, quark, random, rep, reset, stamina. Tons of little commands to play with if you want to use that kind of stuff. But yeah, so if we cycle through the things, so I don't quite know how I talk. Wait, hold on. It's in here. Toggle off. Yeah, I'm not quite sure how I how I get the combat mode thingy to work. Uh, I don't know if there's a button for I've just missed or something. Maybe you can let me know in the comments if you'd realise. 
But okay, uh, going through one frog stuff. So one frog's actually been uh, changed quite a bit. So other than just uh, the full cowling, it now actually acts as a percentage based thing. So as you can see, it's ten kind percent. Of Ooh, interesting. Uh, basically, full cowling now works as a higher level. The more percentage your body can handle. So basically, if you go beyond your whatever your cap is, uh, you'll start to hurt yourself when you do attacks. Which, yeah, sounds really cool because it means it's not the most overpowered quirk ever where you just get access to All Might's ability. Now you have to kind of work your way up like Deku would. Uh, but yeah, but if I continue clicking, I just keep getting stronger until the point where I'm at 100%. At which point, yeah, I can just leap around the place and I just have absurd amounts of strength and resilience because at this point I'm at the level of All Might. Cool. Uh, I'm going to take Todoroki's face off now. It's getting a bit weird. <laughs> I say from that, we also get things like, yeah, Delaware Smash. Which, um... Bop, there we are. Now, I don't think having higher levels of one for all matters. I do wish I figured I could figure. I do wish I could figure out how to um, activate combat mode because it would make life much easier. But yeah, I'm pretty sure that the smashing and stuff is the exact same. I think it just it, it may increase the power of your quirk like damage wise, but it doesn't increase. You don't like like a bigger bang. You don't like destroy more terrain being at ten percent. You do it hundred percent or anything like that. Like so that's the thing. But other than that, we've also got leap. Which, yeah, yeah, just a big All Might leap, or Deku leap in this case as well. Uh, whatever direction you're looking, you just leap to. Obviously, this would take normally stamina, and there is a bit of a cooldown. The number you can see there is it's cooldown, so you've got to wait a second. And you can't use it while you're midair, you have to obviously leap off the ground. So we've not got the, currently the ability to um, leap through the air. Hold on. Get the right thing. Uh, I'm going to 100% try it. Is that any different? Nah, not really. Uh, it's, it's pretty much the exact same. And on that, we also got Texas Smash, which is just a bigger boom. We've got the Phil Cal, we've got the Deltroid Smash. Bop. I think it's just a bigger front punch. Uh, and then we've got the United States of Smash. Not enough stamina. <laughs> what? What do you mean, not enough stamina? Okay, hold on. Apparently, I need more, more stamina. Okay, hold on. Increase stamina by a bunch. Have it now. There we go. Oh god. That was weird. Um, <laughs> hold on. Let's try that on the ground and see that. Let's try that again and see if it actually just destroys things. Hold on. Let's one more time. United States of Smash. It does a lot of effects, but it doesn't make a big boom. I was expecting to make a crater or something there. <laughs> okay, apparently it doesn't make a crater or anything, but I imagine it would do a bunch of damage if you hit something with that. Cool. Uh, but maybe going from there. Whirlwind! I still have... Uh-oh, still get full cowling on. Uh, hold the bus. Turn it off really quick. <laughs> right, Whirlwind! Never mind, electrification! Right, so yeah, electrification, thunderstrike. Thunderstrike on. Let's strike off. Odd. Uh, electric dash, which we can hold. Okay, uh, indisc indiscriminate shock, 1.3 million volts. Put thunder everywhere. Which actually makes the question if I have this on. Ah! Okay, so because of an electric crack, I can just shoot little bolts. Cool, cool. Electric surge, shoot a big beam of electricity. This is way cool than what I remember it being before. This is way cool than what I remember it being before. In Electric Quirk's looking really cool. Electric Pillar. And Indiscriminate Discharge. Two million votes! Lightning everywhere. Everyone's shocked. And yet, the effects look so much better now than what they did. Like, I thought they looked alright before. Also, keep it for that. If you're wanting to see the effects, make sure you've got your uh, particle set to all. I did not do that in the last review, and things didn't look as good because of that. Okay, uh, yeah. Electric Quirk is looking cool. Also, also, might notice under the Zales and our little thing. Apparently, that's the extra ability quirk. So, or the extra, what's it called? Uh, it's Quirk Special. So in this case, for coming out, you can summon electricity around yourself. And I, I guess maybe it powers things up or something. Not 100% sure. Uh, Whirlwind, this one was interesting. Although partly it looked crap in the last version because I didn't have the particles on. <laughs> I was like, wait, why is this doing damage? It's not like nothing's happening. Where, where's all the particles and effects and stuff? Uh, yeah, it's, 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 it was weird, just didn't have it. But okay, so uh, if we use Hover, uh, it doesn't give you just creative flight anymore. Now it kind of makes you fly, so it makes you fly like a fucking torpedo, which is a bit, a bit weird. 
<laughs> but um, yeah, basically, if you just put your arm out a little bit, mate, you could actually literally look like Superman. I guess you're kind of flying like a Saiyan would, like someone at a Dragon Ball Z. Anyway, yeah, you're now forced to go forwards, which is um. Oh wait. Oh, now it's just keeping me hovering. I'm not currently using creative flight. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so if I hold the button, it'll go quick. Ah, okay, that's cooler. Okay, yeah, so if I hover, we can literally fly around the place and fly up and blah, blah, blah. That's cool. We've got tornado. It creates a wee tornado. Cool. We've got windshields, which, um... Okay, so this is a new thing as well. Uh, when it comes to walls manipulation, Beforehand, you can click the button, and you click it again to do a thing. Now, if you hold the button, uh, you can move the shield around. Which, yeah, that's really cool. You can literally, like, uh, just... I dig that. I get whirlwind, which is somebody wind all over the place. Neat. Oh, so yeah, this is that guy from the other schools. Quark isn't it. I forget his name. Uh, Bank Craven, because I've got limited stamina. Zero gravity. Uh, release. Okay, so pressing F is the release thing. So we've got the ability to float. So, we, we can't need an entity for that. Hold on. What if we grab... Ah, no, they can kind of already fly. It's a bit pointless game. No, chickens just fall to like cows. That'll do. Let's use this on some cows. There we go. Float and release. I'm so sorry, cows. We've got raise. Wait, what? Raise. What's it doing? <laughs> okay, I'll show you that one. Fling! Why is it not? Maybe it has to be a bad guy. I'm not moving. Odd. Uh, light and self, so we can just move a bit quicker. That's neat. Uh, combat, uh, combat home run. Home run. Just rocks everywhere. I uh, meet your shower, which, um... Yeah, there we go. Seven tons of rocks up, then put lots of rocks down. So, yeah. It, it looks way cooler. Uh, the Paraco effect... But James is still going. Uh, the Paraco effects, it's a little effect, but it still looks really cool. Boop. It definitely is a lot nicer having that extra button there just to release it whenever you want. So, yeah, I dig this. Uh, explosion! Back it goes thing. Boom! Short range explosion. Explosion speeds. Okay, so this is using Bakugo's thing where he bounces around the place. Very cool. If you master that, you'll get all over the place. Stun grenades! That, I'm assuming that gives blindness. Okay, it doesn't look very blind. AP shots. Some more direct shot. Explosion cannon. That's a long range explosion. And Howzer impact. Oh, supposed to... Hold on. Try that again. Wait, what? Game! Let me do my Hauser impacts, please. Okay. I've got to be running while I do it. Hold on. It starts trying to work and it just won't... Okay, I can't... I don't seem to understand this quirk very well. Maybe it's just not for me. For whatever reason, though... No. Yeah, I can't get Hauser impact on it. Ah, no, 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 it's doing things! There we go! That's a weird one. <laughs> okay, yeah, as you can see, though, a bunch of moves and stuff have been updated for some of the previous ones. I guess there are other ones, but we'd be here, we'd be here a long time. I want to look at some of the new ones now as well. So, that was some of the old quirks from before. New quirks have been added in. Actually, I'll keep the cows. I might be requiring their services again in a little bit. We have got muscle, flight, ice, black hole, steel, twin impact. Look at those ones first. So, muscle, aka muscular's thing. Uh, so, we get muscle form, which, um, yeah, gives me a muscle top, essentially. So, muscle is big top. 15 armor, 2 armor toughness, 1 not by resistance, curse of binding, so you have to wear it. Cool. I've got strike, which, um, well, if you hit something, it's good a bunch of, good a bunch of damage. It apparently didn't kill that cow, though. Uh, we've got dash, which, um, This is supposed to be... Yeah, it's just a small thing forward. Yeah, there we go. I need a ground smash. Okay, it's less impressive than some of the other quirks, possibly, but... 
<laughs> and you get a cool master for him, then you push your top back on your own. So, that's neat. Uh, we've got Flight, which, um, maybe Hawk? I'm not sure who that's meant to be on there, but, alright. Uh, so yeah, we've got Fly, which, um, lets me fly. Hold on. Yeah, okay. This is, this is it letting me fly right now. I can tell that because it's forcing me forward slightly. Uh, so we've got Fly, we've got Crash, which lets us fall down. I've got Tactical Shield. I, I, I don't know quite how I'm doing this. Is this Hawk? It could be Hawk. I don't know who else has flight, to be honest. Then again, it's not called Fella, it's called that. I don't know who has flight in my <laughs> academia. Let us know in the comments. Uh, yeah, anyway, moving on to here. Ice! So, Todoroki's mom, I guess? Or just a general ice. Pet quirk, so we've got Freeze. We've got Ice Wall, which, yeah, same as the uh, Wind Wall. You can move it around. We've got Ice Skate, so you can... But him. Basically do that thing Todoroki does, where he uses ice in front of himself to move around. Which, um... Yeah, you are making ice, so it... I mean, it seems to be sticking around. It might leave, I don't know. Ice Spikes! Ah, oh, there we go, it is leaving! Yeah, so we've got Ice Spikes, which, um, yeah, just summons Spikes. A direction... Jesus! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> okay, I'm gonna assume part of this is down to your stamina, so, like... Yeah, I'm assuming this is going so far because I've got a bunch of stamina. Okay, right, yeah. I've got Ice Body, which um, gives you freezy effect. Possibly tell you cool down. I've got Frost Field, which uh, so there's ice around you, and I assume it'd freeze people and make them slower and bad, bad, bad. So yeah, another cool little quirk I did. Noise, noise. We've got next. Hold on, turn, turn that off. Not that. That. Turn that off, so we're not gonna car. Are you off? Off. There we go. Uh, next up, we've got Black Hole, which is 13's ability, so we can summon Black... Summon Black Hole? There we go! We can carry it with us, apparently. Oh, this feels like it could be abused so easily. We've got Singularity, which is another Black Hole. <laughs> Slightly different one. And then we've got Vacuum. Which, um, I assume is just is sucking everyone towards me, yeah. So 13's ability, kind of what you'd expect from it. Uh, Stool, aka Tetsu Tetsu's ability. Now, this one's apparently bugged on a, a multiplayer. So if you try to do it on multiplayer, you won't be able to see the metal body. But yeah, if you use the ability Steel, your body becomes Steel. And you get Steel Armor, aka super, super high defense. Uh, along with resilience to and strength. But you get slower. Uh, but in turn, yeah, you get way stronger and way, way tougher. And then you get Steel Fist, which... Um, Steel Fist is on. Steel Fist is off. Wait, what? I didn't feel any stronger though. I didn't. Did I do more damage? I'm not sure. Anyway, Steel Turn Off. So apparently Steel won't show up if you're uh, in multiplayer. That's the thing. But yeah, it's a, it's a simple, straightforward thing, but still kind of cool. But I mean, yeah, if we could get things like. Just think of it, Tensei. So it's, I think, of the hardening ability of Red Riot. It's bothering me if I can't remember his actual name right now. <laughs> I was going to say coming out, I know it's an electric guy. So it's not that, it's something else. I, whenever I want to think so, I can just never remember it. Anyway, I'm moving on to now, the double impacts ability from class B. Uh, yes, yeah, it's an interesting little ability. So we get double impact. No set target. Okay, hold on. Impact barrage. Oh, okay. So this is how, how it works. So summon cow, punch cow, double impact, does a second attack. Cool. Um, I assume if I punch multiple things, then use impact barrage. Yeah, it does double impact on both of them. Cool. And then Colossal Impact. What does that do? It makes the cow explode. Basically, yeah, if you hit something, you end up a much stronger hit afterwards. Cool. <laughs> it's a very straightforward ability, but when tied in with some of the other stuff in Class B, it made it for a really interesting combo. But even just as a quirk, it's a pretty fun one. But yeah, okay, so that's some of the new ones. Very cool. Very nice. I like it. Uh, we're not done, though. No. There are two more. We've also got... Half and half. Half cold, half hot. Okay, yeah, Todoroki's full quirk's been added in. <laughs> so we've got Icy Hot Fist, which, um, Ice on, sneak, wait, Ice Fist on. Ice Fist on, Ice Fist. Fire Fist! Wait, what? I can set things on fire! I can now set I wait, hold on. Ice Fist, Fire Fist. Okay, so by sneaking it becomes Fire Fist, by, uh, thinking it becomes Fire Fist. Okay. I get Freeze and Burn. So you can set Ice, 
If you shift, you do fire. That seems to be how this one's working. Okay, so if you do regular, you shoot ice, and you do shift with it, you'll do fire instead. Very cool. We've got ice skate from the ice quark. Cool. Neat. Uh, we've got flame spike. An ice wall? No. We've got ice spike and flame wall, sorry. So, yeah, and the shift will do a flame wall, which we can move around like the other ones. We've got ice and fire body, so... Got fire body currently on. Now to the other side. Ice body currently on. Half and half. Cool. <laughs> uh, Alright. Now, I don't quite know the benefits of that one. I get frost field and Prometheus burn. So in this case, yeah, frost field summons ice around us. Which, um, I don't suppose. Ah, okay. It just keeps going around us, though, as we walk around. Very cool. I'm guessing it will stop when the timer runs out, then. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah. So once the timer runs out, it stops. And if we just shift and click, we've got Prometheus button. Which, um, I guess just summons fire all around us. Oh, no. I've triggered the ice as well. Oh, no. And I'm making the ice jump. <laughs> oh, the ice doesn't like jumping. Or it's trying to create ice over the top of the other thing. Okay, please stop. Please stop. Please stop. Ah. <laughs> uh, am, am I done? I think I'm done. Half and half. Pretty cool, interesting stuff. Basically, yeah, it's basically, it feels like two quirks in the one. But yeah, really, really good. The cool to see Todoroki's one in here. Oh, but then we've got one more. All for one. Oh, dear, oh, dear. <laughs> so obviously I can't use this one because I'm by myself, but all for one's been added in, aka the ability to steal quirks off folk. All right. So, apparently, uh, basically, once my reputation is down from murdering things. Murdering cows, really, game? You're going to judge me on that. Uh, but, yeah, so, uh, one for all is currently... No, one for all is currently in as well. But, uh, all for one is currently in. If you're with someone, you can sneak, press the ability, and steal from them. At which point, you can then have... It'll open up a menu thing to let you play around with it. Which, hold on, actually. I could test this. Right, got my alt account on, Lord Jammy. Currently, he's got the half and half quirk, which I was just using a second ago, because that's just what he luckily started with, the fecker. Uh, right, so now if I click shift and R, uh, there we go. Uh, ooh, some interesting effects happening there. Uh, sneak and right click to steal quirk, quirk special to open menu. Ah, here we are. So basically, you can set a lot of quirks and. Still them. Now you can click the F button, the quirk but uh, thingy button, to um, to thing. Also, just to note, as far as I can tell, uh, Yami still has his quirk. It, it's technically still there, but it also appears he's just getting no stamina permanently. <laughs> so it's very possible he's just he's now not able to use his quirk. Yeah, it looks like the Yami literally cannot use his quirk now. It literally it, it, his stamina bar is on zero and it's just staying there. Unless it's glitched, which I doubt that's the case. Uh, yeah, I've literally just stole Yami's quirks now. I can use it, but um, they can't. I don't know if there's a way to give it back. Uh oh, sorry. Oh, hello. Oh, oh, I like the oh, I like the one for all particle effects for when um, whenever you use a stolen quirk, his particle uh, this red and black lightning thing shows. Oh, it's very cool. Oh, I like that. That's very nice. Okay, if I go back to there, is it possible to give me quir give quirks back? No, I think it is. It'd be good if there was a way to give quirks back eventually, because right now I think I've just fecked him over. <laughs> oh, lordy. Okay, well, uh, as it stands, it's a very trolley quirk, and I guess if that happens to someone, possibly they'd have to get a new token? There we are. Hey, yummy, eat the token. Yummy now has the black hole ability. But is incapable of doing anything. Oh wow! I generally think they can't use anything. <laughs> yeah, I think you literally just bugger people. I'm, I'm trying my best with Yami to have them use a a, a quirk thing there. Just nothing's happening. Yeah. Okay. Well, Yami, you've done your bit. You're now fit and quirkless. Uh. Yeah. Yeah. After you still just they can't use their quirk anymore. That's insane. Wow. Okay. Uh. One more thing though. There we are. There is one other quirk hidden in here. It is Overhaul's quirk. It is technically here, but it's also technically work in progress. 
very destructive, and apparently it's, it's not recommended use it, but you can get it through cheating, basically, by entering the command. So, um, yeah, so we get destruction and reconstruction. Uh, left click to deconstruct, right click to reconstructs. Hello! Yeah, so I can break the part. Odd. Uh, terrain construction. Interesting. I can make terrain move around. Or I can just raise platforms, but yeah, even still, it's still interesting. Uh, deconstruction wave. Does that work on, on, pl on other, like, oh, hold on. Yeah, yeah, it hurts things. <laughs> oh, there we go. So we just destroy things as we're going. And construction spikes. Doesn't want to work. Okay. Uh, it's really wor uh, work in progress, as I said, but it's it's there, and I guess it's planned to get added in later, so that's neat. But yeah, so uh, beforehand, that was all the quirks and stuff we had to work with. That was all that. Cool, cool, cool. And, I mean, the mobs that were in, it was just a couple of here, uh, like, a couple of villains, a couple of, like, policemen, special forces and stuff. It was nothing too interesting before. That's now changed. That has now changed. There's all for where we are. Put you back on. There we are. 20%. There's been more stuff added in since last time. Far more stuff. Far more mobs have been added in. So, just to go through a few of them. Uh, but, but, so we get Scavenger. That's just person was in before. We've got Tesla. I don't know who that is, but I assume it's just some kind of mass villain. We've got Muscle Man. Ooh, he's he's a little muscular. We've got Invisible Chameleon, that guy that tried to jump back ago. We've got the robots. We've got Chomper. We've got Thousand Eyes. So okay. I mean these guys some of the guys look different from before. But um yeah okay, they're just little villains and stuff. Nothing too too interesting or out of the ordinary. Why is there more chess? What the f I still have all overhauls ability on, don't I? I think I do. I think I'm, I'm reconstructing things using overhauls ability. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, okay, so, yeah, if I just quickly grab the rest of these ones. Uh, these are all kind of general ones that are here. So, uh, we've got, yeah, the sludge villain. Actually, this is new. This looks quite cool. Uh, we've got sludge villain added in. That's kind of like a mini boss. We've got the Nomu from class, uh, from the USJ, uh, which... Yeah, okay. It looks cool. It was a vicious boss thing in the 1.15 version. We've got Victor with a handgun. <gasps> We've got the other robot. We've got an even bigger robot. We've got a general villain. The gnome is not happy, apparently. We've got some policemen. Special forces and whatnot. Oh, very cool. We also have, yep, just some random criminals. We've got some random students. A few A outfits on. Cool. We've got the zero bot. It's huge! And then we've got some general generic heroes. Okay, you're summoning more things than I thought you would. Hold on! Oh, so the sludge villain, if you hadn't guessed, has got the sludge ability. I'm gonna go grab the rest of the eggs now, just before everything gets broken. Um, <laughs> that kind of summoned more than I was expecting it to. Uh, ba -ba -doo. Right, well, um, yeah, heroes. I, I generally thought the hero thing was just some generic hero. I didn't even test it before the video. <laughs> no, the hero egg summons heroes in. So yeah, Denki Kaminari, he's he's in as an egg. We've got Cementos, he's in. We've got Is... is Inasa? I don't know how you pronounce his name. We've got Endeavor. Cool, right, so those heroes are in. They've got their quirk abilities, as you can see by Cemento summoning things and that. Cool, we've got the Eyeless Nomu. What's the Eyeless Nomu? I don't really know. I forget which one this is from. <laughs> um, is it from when the Terrors get attacked with Steam was doing stuff? Maybe. I've got Rafa's batted in. Seriously, the maker of this mod must love Rafa as a character. Which, to be fair, fair enough, he's a really cool fight. Um, but yeah, uh, he's been added in as a person. We've got Muscular. He's in as well. This place is becoming a war zone. Oh, God. Tonaroki's been added in. Along with Bakugo. Deku's not in yet. <laughs> I did in Todoroki and Bakugo, but didn't put in uh, Deku. Interesting. Uh, I mean, fair enough. But yeah. Uh, so they're in as well. They could fight, use their quirks and stuff. Health-wise, armor-wise and stuff. It's like, I think they're just wearing their armor. Whatever their armor is. So they're, you know, pretty tough, pretty defensive. But, um, yeah. Different hills and stuff, so the adult heroes got a bit more than students. Makes kind of sense. Cool, cool, cool. There's one more egg, though. 
Oh, there is one more egg. There's one more egg indeed. The big boss. All for one himself. Bajabus. So, I'm going to go into the assumption that all for one can just steal your quark. <laughs> Are you fighting? He's fighting a no move for some reason. Anyway, he's got like a high, he's got, uh, I think he, 500 odd health. He appears to have just done something. I don't know what quark he's next, or I can just use every quark and just every ability. But I do wonder if, if in survival you encounter, if he could just steal your quark. Pajabas. Yeah, there's a lot more in the mod to do nowadays. It's very cool. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I think I think he might just have every quirk. Yeah, he's literally just running through different quirks and abilities and stuff. That's Kaminari's ability. He had super generation a second ago. He sent it fire a second ago. Bajabus. Alright, anyway, that's my Academy mod. It's all put 16.5 now. It's got way more stuff, way more outfits, way more quirks, way more things to fight, more characters are in. It's bloody great, isn't it? <laughs> I did quite enjoy it. I think it's an awesome mod. It's got even better. The effects are looking amazing. There's even more options now. Always is good. But yeah. Bloody dollars are so noisy. Anyway, people, thank you all very much for watching. Hope you all enjoyed this little Minecraft mod review. I hope this wasn't too, too long. But who knows at this point. I've cut it several times. Uh, but yeah, let us know in the comments uh, stuff you really like. From this, for me, yeah. The, like, the effects look so damn good. But also, yeah, more outfits. More outfits are always great. But also, yeah, characters. That was something I was thinking. Like, oh, it'd be good if they added more characters. It'd be good if they added things like, you know, Bakugo and stuff to fight. Ba-doom, ba-doom, Bakugo's freaking in. So, yeah, more of that would be really... Yeah, let us in the comments what stuff you'd like to see them add in the future. Because, yeah, adding in stuff like, yeah, Deku, all right, and stuff. Aizawa. This is Aizawa, the Aizawa senseis. Just uh, Uraraka and stuff. I mean, uh, Oh god, what's his name? Uh, Mineta, that's it. Even the little ones like Mineta, yeah. I'd, I'd, I'd get them all in. Get all of them in. If they're, they're going to be looking and acting like this, I'm gonna, it's going to be great. Because yes, one thing from the, uh, playing the Demon Slayer mod, being able to fight against both good and bad guys, it's definitely a cool thing. And, I mean, yeah, the options there. You can fight against good guys like Wakako and Endeavor. Awesome. Getting a bit far away from the know it's very loud. But yeah, anyway, people, leave a like if you enjoyed, and thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time for another Minecraft mod review, whatever anime type mod I end up finding next. Also, yeah, if you've got any mods you like, suggest me reviewing, leave it as known in the comments, because I sometimes miss some. Like, my, it was my Discord chat that told me this mod was updating today, and they told me exactly when it uploaded, and I was like, ooh. Then they told me how this looked better, and I'm like, ooh, 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 I'm straight in there. Oh, I'm glad I was. It's a, oh, it, I'm so excited by you playing with this more. But anyway, though, thank you for watching, though. I shall see you all next time for more Minecraft mod reviews. Go buy it from buddy. Da, 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 da. Oh, so just want to say a quick thank you to all of the channel members for the extra support. And a special thank you and shout out to our elite members, the joining members, Austin Quinzenberry, Sebastian Ramsey, Alexander01, Nullfinity, Catshore, Bobo Spot, OPMV, River Tempest, Pikaman88, and Noah Saisaki, and our Ambu members, Gold Dragon, Aragon, Banished Gaming23, Harmony Hangner, True Drowman, Firebird Phoenix, True Yandere, Aka Azur, Killride Yerobot, Frostworld 2K, Colton Wood, and Moz Mordre. Thank you all very much for the extra awesome support. Butter, butter, butter.